So as the title and thumbnail say, I'm going to be reacting to the recent Pokemon Direct that came out. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of people on YouTube like to see how different people react to those types of things. And it's easy content. Although, don't people only really want to see how, like, bigger YouTubers react to different types of things like this? Well, I guess a few years from now, if my channel starts doing well, some people might be curious. And when they look at this video, they will be able to think, huh. So even back then, he was still an asshole. Oh, and they might be curious as to what I thought about some random Pokemon Direct that came out in August. We get new first, games. We'd like to share some news about Pokemon's first strategic team ah, battle game. It's just Pokemon Unite. Unite. Yo, Nintendo, I'm, I'm not sure if you're aware, Mr. <laughs> but like, that came out a while ago. Been released. Uh, you already release released that shit. Version has now been set for September 22nd. No one's gonna buy it on mobile, that's just like the and Switch version, but worse. Mobile device users can play together in Pokemon Unite. It's cross-compatible as well. Oh, that is so much worse for mobile users. This basically just seems like if you want to take Pokemon Unite on the go or something. Wait, that's literally the entire advertising for the Switch. Um, um, it's like if uh, you don't have a Switch and you have a phone instead. Uh, I feel like it would be better if you just made it so that way it would connect people who are on mobile to other people on mobile. Okay, so they're just adding Mamoswine and Sylveon. Okay. So, here, here's we got the rundown. Nintendo, you could have just summed all that up with, we got mobile, no one's gonna play it, but you could if you want. Um, and then we also are gonna add in Mammal, Swine, and Sylveon. There you go, Nintendo. Like, 10 seconds or less right there. And that's all the news for Pokemon Unite. Next game. What's with this one guy, by the way? Because, like, the, the game audio itself is pretty loud. And then you cut to this guy who sounds like... about a few of our other games. One more time. Now, I'd like to share some news about a few of our- Sounds so quiet. Sounds like he's behind like five thick layers of glass when saying this. Pokemon Cafe- I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I'm really good. That's, that never happened. That wasn't a thing. Another fucking mobile game. Oh, okay. Yo, okay, so- Did I miss the memo? Hang on, let me- Pokemon Presents, and then it says the date. That's it? Okay, so I, it wasn't like Pokemon Presents mobile games or something like that? Because, like, Nintendo, that's another mobile game. Okay, yeah, sure. You got Pokemon Go. You got, um, dog with cone and dog with stick in mouth. There we go. That's it for the Pokemon Go mobile news. Next up, we have some news about the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon hey, Shining Pearl. Hey, thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you. Please don't tell me the news is that it's getting to mobile. Okay, it just seems like maybe another trailer? Wait! The Pokémon can follow you! Oh, that's hype! That's actually kind of- Okay, that is kind of sick, right? The Pokémon can follow you. That does mean, though, that they're not gonna have as many Pokémon. Because knowing Pokémon, like the last game we, where they found like, Pokémon can follow you. It was Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee where they only had first gen in it. Uh, I'm also not really a huge fan of the art style, I will say, because I know I get that they're trying to do this as a money-grabbing type of scene to get new people who haven't played the original into it, right? But it is weird how they transition to a different art style for the fights and all that. I would say, though, if they made it like a 3D-ish art style like Sword and Shield, that would be more of an incentive for people who played the original games to buy, being able to see the entire game in a... 3 d disc environment, right? Seeing the buildings, you know, standing upright and super tall, seeing how cool the world is, like that. But for something like this, where it's like the chibi art style, it's like, okay, that's kind of just like a retextured version of the original. I don't know, like I saw a little bit ago, they added the 3D art style to the Pokemon contests of all things. And then it's like they have the 3D models for the Pokemon in the overall. I really don't understand the design choice for the little chibi models for them. Because now, even there, it's like they programmed in the 3D models, and you can tell because they have, like, the 3D models for the fights and all that. So why aren't they in the games? Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Yo, again, Shining behind this glass. Just three months away. Like, no, no, that transition, it gets me every time. Look, listen to this. Hearing the music and audio for the trailers, right? Pretty loud, you can hear it. All right, keep, keep, keep going. And now please help Pokemon me. Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl is now just three months away. You, you need a cough drop? The main... This is Professor Rowan. This is no longer we them selling the Pokemon. new He's version of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl to us, Pokemon but evolution. literally just 
re-explaining Diamond and Pearl to us. This is your childhood friend. Like they're Michael. literally explaining the games to me. Skills as a Pokemon trainer but I already know them. I thought they would like explain maybe some of the differences, some of the changes, maybe explain a bit about how the following the mechanic works specifically and all that. Journey. But they're literally just explaining, "Hey, this is Pokemon." You got a rival, you go around catching Pokemon, you got gym leaders, and there's an evil team. Uh, this this trailer could apply to literally every single Pokemon game, just switch up the visuals, and it would work. Okay, hey, that's a new change. Pokemon Hideaways. New change, at least. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's a little bit of an interesting thing. Um, but fuck you, Pokemon, because now they're just telling me hey if you want this pokemon which might only appear here to complete your pokedex which is the name of the game gotta catch them all then you're gonna have to play them secret bases we know no one plays them and we also know no one uses the underground area therefore the secret bases are in the underground area you will play them we we put them in the game you will play them Dance to the rhythm don't, of the music don't tell me you're gonna give me some bullshit reason for why i gotta do this for a successful show. this is optional Kawhi optional Pokemon Please, really optional. Crowd. You can walk around uh, any walking around. Pokemon that appear in these games. Any? Enjoy your journey through Sinnoh any? together with your partner Pokemon. Please show me, just so I feel safe about that. They they didn't even show me a single non-Gen 4 Pokemon for that. They say any though, so that that's nice. I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna stick with those words of any. Because I said any, and I saw Pokemon that aren't just Gen 4 in this. I saw the even show any. But that's not all. A special Nintendo Switch Lite Dialga and Palkia edition will also be released to celebrate the launch of these games. This special Nintendo Switch oh, okay. Lite is dressed up with art of the legendary Only? Pokemon. Only? Oh, okay. All right, that's worse. Bringing to mind the special Nintendo DS. Lite. Okay. I feel like recently Nintendo, they've been trying to squeeze every penny out of people. Without even, like, trying to focus on, like, good ideas like they have in the past or making great games, it seems like, let's make a remake, an HD version, just put on a slightly better HD texture pack and then re-put it to the Switch, full price. Amiibos? Up those prices. Pokemon game coming out, let's just, instead of making the full-on 3D, that's too much work and effort, let's have them pay full price for the same game just with, like, you know, slightly 3 d esque models. And then, you know what, for more money? Let's have an uh, Palkia Dialga edition that we're not going to put too much work making super cool. Maybe just do like a rough outline sketch of both of the two on the back of it. And the rest of it can just be black because that's like one of the colors we already have. And then you know what? Let's just put that on the Switch Lite to try and get people to buy that because those sales have been going down. Because everyone realizes, well, yeah, your main selling point for the Switch Lite is that it's for good for transportation. And your main selling point for the Switch is that it's good for transportation and can plug into the TV and stuff if you don't want to transport it. So, like, the Switch Lite is just a worse version of the Switch. Yeah, so that's why, like, why, though, Nintendo? Like, that, the Polka Dialga, you literally just rough sketched it on there. You might have already had those, like, sketches saved somewhere and just, like, just printed on the back. Like, if it, if it was, like, a a cool full-on edition of Polka Dialga in something besides their generic battle pose, where, like, their idling generic pose, and then maybe had, like, a... The, the uh, pink and blue on either side or something, or like something cool, a cooler design, because the black model is already there, and you just did a rough sketch, and you're going to make people pay extra for that. Next, we have some information for you about the Pokemon Legends Arceus game. Okay, alright, I'm hoping game this game could either be a fucking great game, or a huge fucking letdown, depending on how they handle it. If they handle this poorly, it could just be, oh my god, wasted potential. And if it's handled greatly, oh, this is one of the greatest Pokemon games up there. Weird choice of starters, though. Weird choice of starters. I feel like I'm being way too highly critical of funny haha -ha Pokemon game. Um, but now I'm starting to think, oh, but if those are the starters they're going for, though, for this game... That must mean they didn't add any original Pokemon into it, and it's like, for a game like this, couldn't you have at least made original starters and kept the other Pokemon? Just, like, port other Pokemon in, right? Because I know you all, you're gonna, regardless, you're gonna port in other Pokemon. But, like, couldn't they have at least made unique, different starters to these games? 
It does seem, based on what they're showing me, it seems like it's a pretty big world, kind of. A little bit like a big world like Breath of the Wild, it seems like anyways. But it might not be- what the fuck? Why does he have a beard? Why does he have a beard? Oh! You send your Pokemon outside. What the fuck? They just add sand to this game? I would say the entire game does look like it would be really fun to play. I am excited for this game. I, I wish- I want to see new Pokemon. Show me some new or original Pokemon. What is that? Okay, by original Pokemon, I didn't mean- so out of the three we've seen so far that are different, I didn't mean fucking, um, uh, what, Stantler with the beard, fucking, uh, Santa Claus Growlithe, and then Braviary with sunglasses. That's where the Legends Arceus stuff happens though, isn't it? It just makes Pokemon angry, and then they'll auto- Oh, yo, this seems like it has some boss fights in it! This actually seems sick! What? Hang on, I'm gonna look at- What happens- You actually fight the Pokemon? Yo, this actually looks sick. They can electrocute you, you have to dodge them out of- This took a turn I didn't expect, this is actually kinda sick. Like, the Pokemon actually attack you. What happens if the Pokemon hit you, you're- like, you? Not like your Pokemon, but you. What the fuck? Okay, so they added a, uh, Gigantamax move or, like, Z-move type of gimmick in here, I guess. Okay, so it does seem like they have a mix of a lot of different generations of Pokemons. I'm just wondering if it's, like, Sword and Shield's beginning where it's, like, they only had, like, a select, like, certain amount of Pokemon instead of all of them, right? Or if they do just say, we have all of them in here. I will say, though, it is kind of a letdown. I didn't see a single new Pokemon. There's still hope for that. Although, I will say, Pokemon... I will say, Pokemon is kind of dying. Like, it's starting to die out a little bit. Because Pokemon Company and, you know, Nintendo... I'm realizing more and more how they're starting to not be able to create new and original and unique Pokemon. As much as they have been, right? It's starting to die down slowly. I mean, Pokemon's not going to die down anytime soon or anything. But eventually, it does seem like it is starting to, like with a Galarian Pokemon, a Lowland Pokemon, and now these whatever Legends variants, because they're basically taking the old models and are like, because they can't really completely come up with new Pokemon as well as they used to. They're still coming up with a decent, you know, amount, but not as well as they used to, where they would have like 150 per region, 100 per region, all that. Now it's dying out over the years, and like Alola or like even like Kalos X and Y had like 60. Compared to how it used to do, it dying down. And now they're just adding to compensate for that. They're just re you know, giving a new skin or a texture to the old Pokemon. And then, you know, saying, oh, well, this is a fire type now instead of a water. It's different. This one has a beard now. It's different. I will say though, despite, you know, how I said that Pokemon is kind of dying down with their creativity for coming up with as many Pokemon. If Pokemon starts, depending on how they're taking this game and all these types of things. Pokemon could start heading in a new direction that could, you know, keep it going. Keep it making making it better, I would honestly say. Because I think this type of idea is sick. I think this game will be sick as hell, despite, you know, not having new Pokemon. And despite, you know, if it has some flaws when playing. I still think the concept and all that is sick. And if they can continue branching out from this concept or, you know, continue making this type of thing, then it could make up for the fact that they're unable to think of as many unique designs and abilities, and all that for Pokemon. Your adventure takes place in a region known as Hisui. During a long ago era when it was- Hisui? Sorry, bless you, real quick. I think you sneezed while saying it. One more time. adventure takes place in a region known as Hisui. During a long ago era when it was- <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. My, my bad, my bad. I, I, I'm not sure if it's like you, you sneezed again while saying- I'll just, just one more time, what region? Your adventure takes place in a region known as Hisui. Oh, okay, the Hisui region. Yeah, of course, of course. Uh -huh. Bless you. Uh, so I guess, what, we're gonna have Sisuian Pokemon now? Because, I mean, yeah, the Alolan and all that, Galarian is based off of the region, so Hisuian Pokemon. Man, this, is, this is such a memorable region, alright? Like, years from now, it's gonna be like, Hey, so what's your favorite Pokemon region? Oh, mine's the Hisuian region. Oh, I got you, man. Make sure to cover your nose next time you sneeze. Oh, thanks, man.
interpreter, and she watches over your progress with care. Blink. Commander Komodo oversees the entire galaxy. Oh no! Don't don't He's tell me it's one. Blink, please blink. 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 Thank you. Thank you. When the commander he blinked. Your knack for Pokemon I was worried because if I knew that they didn't blink and they were just staring at me with their lifeless eyes, like. The duty of then it would have been really creepy. It would have been really creepy, and I would not have been able to unsee it. At these camps, you'll be able to prepare for your survey work by buying items or crafting new ones. I have to fucking materials. craft my own Pokeballs. That is actually kind of an that, that's an interesting mechanic. Like they're they're changing up Pokemon. I gotta stop thinking of what I know about a Pokemon. Okay, so there's no real penalty for dying, I guess. If you get too hurt from an Ursaring charging at you, trying to claw your eyes out, you'll just black out and wake up back in town perfectly fine. Go get him again next time. Get close to them and aim carefully, then throw a Pokeball to try to catch them. No, don't go with that one. That one, that one ain't good. That one ain't good. You'll find hey, that those, not all species there's some better ones. Oh, yeah, there. Get that one. That one's good. That one's good. That one's good. Catch it. Catch it. Catch it. You'll find that a single Pokemon may get to act multiple times in a row, depending on its speed stat and the moves that it uses. Good mechanic. Good mechanic. That would be... It's more accurate. Oh, okay, so this is like their Z-Move Gigantamax gimmick for this one, is like the styles, strong or agile. I do like, though, I think... Interesting direction. I mean, I'd have to play the game and see how it is, but so far I feel like I'm gonna play a shit ton of this game. This game seems really fun. Like, I, I do like how they're doing more accurate, like, for the speed-based type of things. Like, you know, Lucario gets to attack twice this turn, and then the Gastrodon gets to attack once, right? Because Lucario is faster than the Gastrodon. I think that's cool. The whole styles thing of strong style so you do more damage or agile style so you do attack faster or like you move faster so you get more attacks. And I, I think that one's kind of like, all right, I'd have to play with it, see how it would be, I guess. Does seem kind of dumb though. Research and fill in more information by doing things like catching Pokemon, seeing them use certain moves multiple times, and more. Seek out and meet lots of different Pokemon. Wait, they made the Pokedex harder? Most people don't even complete them in the games as they are. But now you, you've got number of forms that's registered, number of times you've seen it use bite and all this. You have to get these check fields and all this and beat a certain amount, beat a certain amount of ground type. You have to do these? Number evolved? Uh, the preferred food? You have to cook food and find out which food each Pokemon likes to complete this Pokedex? And all the different items they can carry? Oh my god! We'd like to introduce some of the Pokemon living in the rich natural environment. Oh, tell me about the bearded deer. Across the Hisui region. This Pokemon with distinctive antlers is known as Weird Deer. You're right, it is a pretty weird deer. Don't know why you went with it. Live in the with great care and respect in this land since Don't you look times. down on me? Fuck you. Garments, eggs, or high I'm gonna predict ice normal or ice. Clothing. That's what I'm going with. Probably ice normal though. This Pokemon is Basculegion. Basculine. Great. great. The Basculine of this region is called Basculegion. How do they come up with this stuff? I'm not entirely sure what typing it would be, though. I think probably Water Fire, which could be an interesting one. Come possessed by the restless souls of other Basculine in their school that have perished during their journey upstream. This Pokemon gains power Wait. <laughs> in their school that have been to this Pokemon. I, 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 I take it that back. I want to hear that one more time because now I'm taking back for ghost water now. <laughs> it, do, did they just say it gets, it evolves this way by absorbing the souls of the dead Basculin around it? They become possessed by the restless souls of other Basculin in their school that have perished during their journey upstream. Okay, just had to make sure I heard that right. Fire, oh wait, wait, you know what? Fire, fire flying for Braviary on this one. I think, I'm definitely thinking that fire, just because it's glasses. He's got the fire-esque type of glasses stuff, right? Yeah. I'm thinking fire flying, um, ice, that's obviously ice. And I don't know if it'll keep, it'll probably keep its fire type, right? Because the Galarian's kind of, they keep some of the typings, I think. Or at least one of them or something, right? So I'm going to say ice fire could be ice normal. Um, this Pokemon with its great majestic wings is the... Okay, at least for the other ones. At least for the other ones. You called it Weird Deer and Vascu Legion. 
This one, you're like, I don't know. We already, you know, named one after the region and just call one weird. What do we do for this one? I don't fucking care. Just call it Hisuian. Hisuian Ravery. Majestic wings is the Hisuian form of... But, 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 sir, isn't that kind of weird? Because, like, you know, in the previous ones for, like, Alolans and Galarians, we just called it Galarian and then the name of the Pokemon, right? Like, Alolan Executor, right? Based on the original Pokemon. Why would we come up with unique names for these specific two that are already a Pokemon existing, right? Like, Stantler and Basculin, right? Why would, why would we come up with a different one, but not for, like, the Braviary and just call it... Oh, well, that's because I want people to forget that some Pokemon exist, so I don't have to keep coming up with new ones. Oh. Imbue its screeches with psychic power to generate Psychic! Okay, I was wrong. So it's psychic, uh... Pokemon, which psychic the flying? Fire, psychic is snow? Psychic ice? Growlith. The horn on its head is made of rock, but it breaks easily. So Hisuian Growlithe uses it only when it'll have the greatest... That's effect. made of rock? I thought I thought that was for sure. I thought for sure Santa Claus and was an uh, ice type. How come all of them look like they're ice type? And then they're like, no, 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 no. You see all that white on him that looks like, you know, it, it's it would clearly be an ice type? That's actually made of rock, because, I don't know, it's rock. Oh, okay, so the po it doesn't connect to Pokemon Home yet, but it, when it comes out, but it'll connect sometime in 2022. So basically, when it comes out in 2022, seeing as they aren't adding any new Pokemon because they're running out of ideas, Someone like me who's completed the Pokemon Home Pokedex can just complete the Pokedex instantly if I feel like it. Why play the game to complete it? Alright, well, so basically what I got of this Direct was, um, they spent, uh, like maybe like, uh, f wow, this was a half an hour Direct, damn, alright. What I got out of it, they spent like, what, five minutes discussing, uh, mobile games, a Switch version mobile game coming to, to you know, mobile from the Switch that no one's gonna buy, because why would you do that when you have it much better on the Switch? And then they did some updates from some other mobile games of Pokemon. And then they just spent the rest of the 25 minutes on two games. Being Brilliant Diamond, they gave like three different trails for that. And then Legends Arceus, they gave a lot on that. I'm not complaining about the Legends Arceus one though. That, that one they actually didn't, like they told us new information throughout most of it. Whereas Brilliant Bo or Pokemon Brilliant Diamond mostly just said... Here's some music with some shots from the, you know, uh, game that you've already seen before in past directs. And then, now we're gonna have that music, but like, over that music for this one with shots in the back, we're gonna have someone talking to you, and then, and then this one, we're gonna have someone explain what Pokemon is. Uh, that Diamond and Pearl, Brilliant Diamond, Shine and Pearl, I'll probably, you know, give it a try, right? Because, you know, it's Pokemon. <laughs> Kinda, just Pokemon. And then uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus. I'm, I'm hyped for that one, though. That, one, that one's a hype one. I I'm excited for that one. 